going on to nine crew well today today and man unk we are trying out arby's yeah they're wagyu steakhouse burgers yet yeah, last year when they first came out they didn't have it here in hawaii unfortunately because they didn't have the proper equipment to do it so of course me and unk did not get a chance to try it at all so we was left out in the dust. I know reviews have been done for this for over a year now, but this is going to be a first time testing out for me and Alka, okay? So Alka, are you ready to eat this? Looks good. Yeah. But of course, before we get down there on this, we both need to pray over this. Lord Jesus, thank you for this food that we are about to devour. In your name I pray, amen. Amen. So I was able to get both burgers that they had, the deluxe and the bacon ranch burger. I got curly fries with my meal, and of course, Unk got regular fries for his. And of course, got some drinks as well too. I got water. You know, I'm still on my water regimen, okay? Unk got himself some Gatorade, or Powerade, one of the two, whatever it's called. We both split the burgers in two, but we want to try both of them. But let's get in one of these fries first. Let's check these out first, okay? As you see, my curly fry right there, and you see Unk's crinkle fry right there. Yeah, let's get these down the hatch. Wow, <laughs> just as good as the last time I check them out, and just as good as always. I'm kind of try one of these fries. <laughs> All right. Nice potato, we taste of those. Mm -hmm. Good as always, right? <laughs> now, next thing we're going to try is the deluxe. The deluxe consists of lettuce, tomato, pickles, onion, American cheese, and the Wagyu burger, of course, with a nice soft bun. As you see the burger right there, guys, right there. This burger with the meal costs $15.49, and it comes with either the curly fries or crinkle cut fries and a drink. So, is this your first time trying Wagyu? Oh yeah, it looks pretty good. <laughs> oh yeah, I've had Wagyu before, hopefully it tops out and everything, but I'm pretty sure they don't use 100% Wagyu though, but hopefully it's still good though with the mixture. Now, let's get this down, bottoms up. definitely taste Wagyu and regular beef inside this as well but the Wagyu do stand out on it though I'm not denying that check out that little chunk right there hopefully you can see it eating it alone yeah you can definitely taste some of that smoothness and some of that meltiness that Wagyu have in this burger all right guys both for our last bites bottoms up so honk what do you think about that burger that's about a 9.1 burger, dude. Pretty good. Pretty good, he say. Yeah, I'm giving that about a 9.1 as well, too, you know. It's definitely good, but now we're going to be trying the one with the bacon. As you see, it consists of the same thing as the regular burger, except that this one has bacon, and it has ranch dressing, so it does have a different taste to it as well. All right, now, let's get this down. Bottoms up. And one of the things I wish that was different on this is the bacon. The bacon, I wish it was crispier, you know. How about you? Yeah, it needs crispier bacon and stuff. Good flavor, good palate flavor and everything to it too. The ranch dressing is standing out with it as well. But that bacon, just a little bit more crisp and everything. Last bite, guys. Bottoms up. Terrible the rest of these fries now, guys, you know. Don't forget, guys, get down with the drink. And for a bonus, guys, of course, I told you, anytime I go to Arby's, I definitely gotta get me some mozzarella sticks. And of course, this is going down me and Uncle's belly as well. Go ahead, Uncle. And of course, look at that cheese pull. All right, bottoms up, guys. comes with marinara sauce as well, but you know me guys, I really don't need that. So all in all though, these Arby burgers are kicking and everything. I am really impressed with them. I want to say that bacon needs to be a little bit more crispy and everything in order for it to be more satisfying and stuff. And also too, more bacon, more bacon, more bacon. I think the bacon was a good idea it tastes real good, but it wasn't enough of it. <laughs> 
Exactly, it wasn't enough of it though. So more bacon, more bacon, more bacon. But overall though, I like that Wagyu burger for sure. I wish they did use a better blend of Wagyu than they does beef. Cause if you want to call it a Wagyu burger, it should be a higher percentage, more Wagyu beef than it should be of regular beef, okay? And for the Bacon Club Wagyu, you're gonna get a 9.2 from me. Yeah, it's a bit higher and everything because you did add bacon to it, but you know, I wish it could be better bacon though. If it was better bacon, we would have got a better score. <laughs> How about you, Hulk? 9.0. Oh, so you went down. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a smudge down, guys, smudge down. So, and of course, that's telling you right there from Hulk's perspective, you need to improve on that bacon. So now guys, we're going to be getting up out of here and go doing our thing, you know, have some fun and stuff like that. So if y'all like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button and give us a little comment and let us know how y'all like or y'all don't like the Wagyu Burger, you know. And also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go on and subscribe. It just helps me out and it helps you out because you get to see more of us and me. More me. So until next time, until next video, Lord willing, peace. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.